Hey everybody, uh, I got a haircut today, a little different, and um, I've been wanting to post a vlog for many weeks now about what's been going on in my life, and it's been a whole lot of shit, and I don't know if I even should have been talking about it, but I feel I should at least update what's going on. Literally, it's been like one shitstorm a week for the past few, several, whatever weeks. Um, I had all this stress from trying to get student loans and my job was stressing me out because I had major workload which technically should really have three people doing that job but I only have one person me myself so there's also my apartment situation where the the place is going for closure and the owner is being a total dipshit so instead of us being able to just live out the rest of our lease, which was going to end in December, which would have been perfect timing for me just to go direct from there to Japan, uh, I had to get out early. So you can see I am in a different room. I am with my friend Carla and her boyfriend Peter. So they were kind enough to uh, lend me their spare room. And... Well, from the whole situation of the loans and the stress and the stress and the stress, my blood pressure went through the roof. And it was so bad that um, they sent me to the emergency room because my blood pressure was 240 over 100 something. So, normally, for me just being fat, I was having high blood pressure, but because of the extreme amount of stress that I was going through, um, I basically could have died. Which added on to the shitstorm that was going on in my life. So the day that, that uh, I almost died, basically, um, I had actually found out that my loan went through for school which I had been applying and applying and even with my mom's credit even though she has good credit or good enough credit we were being denied loans and we were actually gonna celebrate that day by going to have some sushi with my friends and then I just didn't feel good like I felt really bad my heart was racing like crazy and I went to one of these like urgent care facilities and they checked me out and they said you can die so after that they stabilized me and I was able to go home I'm sure I'm gonna have this huge ass bill now What can I do? So, there's that. And then, the Monday after, when I went to go and try to go see about getting my uh, extended prescription for now, the blood pressure medication that I must take now every day, my car died. And so now I have no car because it's a compi compilation of the computer and the transmission and it would cost thousands of dollars to fix. And I need every penny in order for me to get the fuck out of here and go to Japan. The guy was able to make the car work and he's like, it could last a year, it could last three months, it can last a day. And it literally lasted 
going down the street. I picked it up. We went to Target, which is in a uh, stacked mall. So it was in a parking garage. We went to Target. When it came out, car didn't work. And then we tried to get a tow truck to get there. We told them it's inside of a garage. And they sent a flatbed. Bring it back to the mechanic. It's dead. So now I have no car. Luckily, my friend Carla works near where I work, so I'm carpooling with her. And then, finally I'm going to move, and then we can't move on the Sunday because the fucking place says you need a place where she lives, you need a permit to move in, and you can't move in on Sundays. And then it just so happens that I was talking with Jose on video chat and he decides he wants to call our relationship off. So after all these weeks of being battered and battered and battered, this blow probably the one that really broke me. He has his um, view of how even if we're both in Japan, the fact still there's a distance where we would be lucky to see each other once a month. He says he feels selfish, and he's sorry. He feels that he should have addressed this beforehand. And, yeah. Still supposed to spend New Year's with him when I get to Japan. You know, I care for him no matter what, but it's hard, especially since... It's not like we're breaking up because we don't love each other. He's breaking up because of circumstance. And it's gonna hurt. And then now also, uh, The Seven Shades of Grey is having its bumps where we're having people leaving. So that's also another stress. So luckily I also have some Xanax that the doctor prescribed also. So that's my life. It's been shitty, but I'm surviving. I will be in Tokyo soon. I will have a brand new life. I will have left this life, sold all my possessions, and I'm going to go and start a new life. So hopefully soon, those of you who watch me, We'll see a brand new Greg. All right. Thanks for listening for up to this eight minutes and 40 seconds worth. I love you all. Good night.